Hi, I'm Matt. Arga have asked me to present you with the following information to help ensure the connection of your Arga cooker can be completed on the day of delivery by following this simple pre-installation connection guide. This setup guide is designed to present you with an overview of the essential requirements for your new Arga 60 cooker. For full information, it is highly recommended that you refer to your installation guide available on the Arga website. Should you need to make any alterations to your electric or gas, then you need to seek the services of a qualified contractor. Check number one, the electrical connection. For an Arga 60 cooker, such as this one, you will need an accessible isolation switch that is within two meters of the cooker, but not directly above it, and in the same room. The Arga will need a dedicated 32 amp electrical supply using a minimum six millimeter feed direct from the consumer unit. Check number two, the main connection point. This should be within 1.2 meters of the bottom corner of the cooker on either the left or right side. Alternatively, it can be fitted behind the cooker. If you are fitting behind the cooker, it must be no higher than 450 millimeters from the bottom of the floor and be recessed into the wall. Check number three, the gas connection. If you have purchased an Argus 60 with a gas hob, for the gas connection, you will need a side-facing micro-point bayonet fitting. To work out where to locate the gas connection, you must first determine the final position of your cooker. The gas point must be located in an area that is between 35 millimeters and 255 millimeters from the left-hand side of the cooker when viewed from the rear, and between 365 millimeters and 665 millimeters when measured from the floor. Further details on where the gas connection should be sited can be found in your installation guide. We recommend that you avoid forward-facing micro-point bayonets, as this may not allow the cooker to sit against the rear wall. Additionally, should any alterations be necessary to an existing gas connection point, you need to seek the services of a gas-safe registered engineer. Additionally, for dual fuel appliances, the room in which that appliance is to be fitted must have an openable window direct to the outside. Additional ventilation may be required depending on the size of the room and any other fuel burning appliances fitted in that room. Specific requirements can be found in your installation guide. If on the day of delivery, it is not possible for your electrical connections to be in place, then we can still deliver, position and set up your Arga ready for your electrical contractor to make the final connections at a suitable time. Once that has been completed, your Arga is ready to use. You might want to check out our self-help guide on switching on your Arga for the first time.